Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Sean back again. Um, today was supposed to be a normal day. In all honesty, I was here editing some videos on various other topics that I was going to present. And then this happened. Firewalk Studios officially closing following Concord's disastrous release and subsequent shutdown. No one is surprised. I mean, how many different factors like contributed to this? The infamous lackluster character design, the saturated market of online shooters, the attitudes of some of the developers towards some of the gamers who had any critiques, the amount of money that was spent, the alleged company's internal toxic positivity. I mean, there's so many different factors. Everything just went all wrong. I know a lot of people are having a good laugh right now. I guess they feel some of it is justified because, you know, I don't know, this whole discourse around this game is kind of silly. It's kind of absurd. I mean, a game came crashing down in two weeks after being released. Uh, <laughs> and I mean, it was released right next to another dud called Dustborn and released right next to another game that was a hit called Black Mental Kong. So the contrast is kind of glaring. But I do know that there were probably some good people that lost their jobs here. So, you know, uh, that is unfortunate for them. With this game, they decided that they wanted to go in a non-aesthetically pleasing direction. They wanted to prioritize things like, you know, pronouns in the game and this awful lackluster design. I, I don't know who the game was for. It clearly was for nobody because the game doesn't exist and now the studio doesn't exist. They have a letter here addressing the whole uh, closure of the studio, which is actually closing with another studio that's a, a mobile game um, a company. Jumping to the point of interest, it says here regarding Firewalk, as announced in early September, certain aspects of Concord were exceptional, but others did not land with enough players, and as a result, we took the game offline. We have spent considerable time these past few months exploring all our options. After much thought, we have determined the best path forward is to permanently sunset the game and close the studio. I want to thank all of Firewalk for their craftsmanship, creative spirit, and dedication. The PvP shooter genre is a competitive space that's continuously evolving and unfortunately we did not hit our targets with this title we will take lessons learned from concord and continue to advance our live service capabilities to deliver future growth in this area uh who is we the studio is gone now like what, what are we doing both decisions were given serious thought and ultimately we feel they were the right ones to strengthen the organization yeah so there you have it i mean I'm going to be honest with y'all, I'm not going to do another Concord uh, revamp or redesign. I'm really not feeling it right now. I don't feel like going through that whole list of characters. There's better artists than me that have tackled all the characters. I just don't have the patience nor the um, time to do so because I have a lot of things going on. So in here will be a time lapse of something else of my choosing. But yeah. This was just a quick video. I just wanted to report that, yeah, Firewalk is, uh, they're done for. It's over. Uh, gaming history made here. Not with a studio's closure, because we've seen that multiple times, but of the closure of a live service game within two weeks of that big of a budget. The lesson here, I, I don't know. Maybe do some research on what your audience actually wants. That would be a first big step. I think it was, uh, apparent from jump that we didn't want any of this yeah uh, also studios tone down the cringe there's a lot of cringe projects out right now i suspect that a lot of these projects have been in development for years when cringe was popular and now they're just coming out but i'm not certain maybe some of these companies are trying to pull back on the cringe i guess we'll see if they're not a join firewalk i guess you know what i'm saying because i mean we're not gonna buy it i guess we'll see how this next cringe game does that, that officially comes out tomorrow who knows maybe it'll make money like, it'll definitely make game of the year will it make money though i guess that remains to be seen anyways that's all i wanted to talk about feel free to like share and subscribe and i will catch y'all on the next video peace out